In this video, I'm going to show you how I add bunting around the sides of the cake. Now, I've iced the cake on the board. I do have videos on this, so I'll put up the links for you. Um, I've only just iced it, so it's still nice and soft. It hasn't had time to set. And what I'm going to do is take in just a round cookie cutter. It's quite a large one. Um, I'm going to create guidelines for where I want my bunting to go. So I'm going to start at the front of my cake. Now I'm going to start at the front because if the pattern doesn't match evenly all the way round, I'd rather have one at the back that's a slightly different size than have one at the front that doesn't match. I'm going to try and get it so it goes to about halfway down my cutter. And I'm just going to push gently either way. So just gently to create a line. And this is going to have a line of fondant that will run through it or you can use royal icing. So I'm going to go again with my second one, trying to get it as even as I can. Now sometimes I do end up with some a little bit lower or higher than each other. Now if it comes up a bit, just gently push it back down. Now instead of carrying on in this direction, I'm going to turn it now and go from this direction. Okay, and then back this way. to this side again. So you'll find it easier if you've got it on a turntable for turning it round. So you'll see I'm at the back, it looks slightly bigger than the others, although only slightly, so it does look like it'll fit quite nicely actually. Whereas sometimes you end up with a slightly smaller gap or a slightly larger one in which case rather than using the cutter you just draw it in freehand or I would just draw it in freehand, you might find that there's other ways that you prefer to do it. Okay, so we've got our guidelines on. What we need to do now is get our little bunting triangles ready, as well as the thin pieces of fondant to go around. So for our bunting, we're just gonna use a little square shaped cutter. And I've got some fondant that I've dyed in a variety of different colors. So just got the Renshaw's normal fondant for these. If you want to use modelling paste, you can do. Um, I've dyed these ones rather than buying them ready coloured this time. Um, sometimes I use them ready coloured just because it saves me a bit of time. So we're just going to roll a small amount out and it only wants to be reasonably thin. If you put modelling paste in, you'll find you can get it thinner than if you're just using normal fondant like what I'm doing. If it sticks to your board, just use a little bit of corn flour to stop it sticking, which shouldn't dry your icing out too much. I do have a little video on making the little dusters with, for the uh, corn flour. So we're just going to cut out some little squares. Now I usually cut out more than what I need and find that actually I've got loads left over, but it's better to have some left over than to find that you didn't quite do enough. So what we're going to do now is just cut each of those in half to create triangles. So from corner to corner, we're going to cut across to create our little bunting pieces. Now I'm just doing mine plain in colour, using different colours. Um, you might want to put patterns, polka dots on yours, which looks really nice and effective. And once you've done this, on all of one colour. I'm going to move on and do exactly the same with all my other colours that I've got ready. So now we've got our bunting cut. I'm just taking some white fondant and just needing a bit to soften it. I'm going to use a clay extruder, I think that's what they're called, um, to push it through to create a fine string line. You can just roll them by hand if you prefer, um, but if you've got the tool it does make it a little bit easier okay so before I did have a metal one that was for clay um, but I was finding it quite difficult to use so I've just purchased a plastic one which there's a little lever on that you squeeze and then you'll see it starts coming out which makes it a little bit easier so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out a small amount that's long enough to cover one of my curves on the cake and then we'll move this over to the cake 
So just taking a small amount of water and a small brush, I'm just going to put a line of water in that crater that we've created. So following the cutter line. I'm taking my piece of fondant, I'm just going to try and put that into the line that I've made. Okay, so it's a little bit longer at the top, but that's fine, we can cut the extra off. So we're just going to trim that at the top. And you're going to do the same now all the way around. So what we're going to do now is start to add our bunting. Taking just one of your little triangles, we're just going to put a small amount of water on the back and we're just going to push that. I'm going to start at the center and we're just going to push it just under our white line. And you're going to continue now adding more in other colors. So next one along. If you want them to look like they're a bit more 3D, just curl up the end of one or two. I think I've stuck those ones too far on to curl them up, but yeah, when you're putting some on, if you just flick them out a little bit. So if you find that they don't quite fit, you can either leave a bit of a gap or you can trim it down to size. So I've trimmed that one a little bit to squeeze it in. I'm gonna leave a gap on that one. And I think I might start this one from this side here. And try and pull the corner out if you can so it looks a bit like it's blowing in the wind so continue doing that all the way around your cake until you've filled all your white lines so here it is finished thank you for watching If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.